I made a lot of dietary changes to improve my health. I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease called ulcerative colitis when I was 22. And I saw every major doctor in my area and they told me to just take medications. Um, the medications weren't working. And so I started exploring diet on my own. Um, they all said it wouldn't work and that it didn't cause it, but I found otherwise online. Uh, and I found out that cutting out grains and dairy, legumes, and anything processed actually really helped decrease inflammation, which is partially what caused my autoimmune disease. And so I tried it. Uh, you know, it took some time to notice a big difference, mostly because I was so sick and I was also on a lot of medications at the time. But I did notice a pretty immediate improvement, just something that was tangible. And you know, it is difficult. Changing your diet and switching everything that you know about food and health is definitely out of my comfort zone. <laughs> uh, changing the way that I knew how to cook was extremely difficult at first. And I went through a lot of time of feeling, you know, kind of sorry for myself almost, of everybody gets to enjoy all these foods and I don't. And I've got a disease that they say is incurable. So it was difficult, but over time I realized that I could replace all of those foods with things that wouldn't hurt my body, but that tasted just as good and that still, you know, were able to offer the memories and the things that, that I got to do with my family, like holidays and all of those things that I had emotions tied to for food, I was able to recreate, but with, you know, grain-free ingredients. I think it's a sustainable shift because really it's nothing new. You know, this is the way that people used to eat before things became so processed. We're not being deprived and that's one of my biggest things is I don't want people to feel deprived when they're eating this way. So that's why I try to recreate some of those favorites. It can be overwhelming at first, especially when you're going through such a huge shift, but once you learn really how to plan and how to do it, it becomes kind of just a way of life. I know that's how it is for me now. My biggest advice is just to jump in 100% head first. I went back and forth so many times, mostly because it's hard to commit to, and I feel like I wasted a lot of time. And I feel like if I would have just gone in, you know, and not looked back, that I might have been able to save myself some of that heartache. One of the things that my husband kept telling me over and over again was, keep a food journal, keep a food journal. And I was very hesitant to doing it because I didn't want to focus on, you know, everything that was going into my body and what I was eating every day. But I really realized that there were certain foods, like dairy, for instance, that I was eating on a regular basis and I wouldn't feel well. Some people can't tolerate nuts and some can. And so I think it's super important to not just follow a diet or a book, you know, word for word, but to use it as a starting point and then kind of go based on what your body is reacting to. Thank you.